My name is Scott Jones. I work with Regents Blue Shield of Idaho, I'm Vice President of Sales. This is a short message on Kaizen, the term Kaizen, for my sales staff. Here's a symbol Kaizen, and for uh, my team that's seen uh, any athletic wear on me, uh, most often I have this symbol somewhere on the material that we've provided to our athletes uh, in the wrestling world prior to coming into the insurance world. The term Kaizen, Kai standing for the word change, and Zen standing for the word good. Really it was a philosophy that was adapted by the Japanese culture. It's a Japanese term, Japanese symbol. Uh, they implemented it after World War II, really with a focus on recovering from the devastation of World War II, rebuilding their country, wanted to have a philosophy that was focused on an end prize that they would be proud to accomplish, a country rebuilt. However, they realized they couldn't get there in one simple step, that it was going to take multiple small steps, small focuses on improvement that would get them to their end prize. It was Toyota that began really the Kaizen movement, and they were most recognized for this in the business world with their focus on safety improvements and production improvements with a focus on receiving information or recommendations from their workforce. So it was from the manufacturing team or their employees on the floor that would provide recommendations and they were adopting them at, a, at an amazing rate in the upper 70 percentile from my understanding. And that was a driving factor behind or is recognized as a driving factor behind the success of Toyota. I adopted it after a speech I was delivering nearly 20 years ago to a group of educators and I was to speak to them and community leaders uh, on the topic of priorities in life. And being a teacher, I had listed on the blackboard a list of my top priorities in my life and was to, my task was to deliver in seven or eight minutes a motivational spiel for that population. What ended up being uh, a very humbling event for as I turned around to introduce my priorities in my life, I realized that I was about to deliver a rather hypocritical message and I surely didn't want to be known for that. I had at the top of my list a number of items that I knew that on a daily basis I I spent very little time every day pursuing things like my faith or my relationship with my wife or my children, etc. Oftentimes those key priorities in my life were getting, were getting pushed out of my daily calendar by the many fires that would come up each day. And I wanted a system that would help me to stay accountable to myself and others on pursuing my end goal, which was great success at each of the top priorities in my life. So with those being a focus surely at work as well, I've implemented, and implemented the Kaizen philosophy in almost every area. So if you're trying to implement a continual change and you want to be focused on improvement, uh, what types of things can you do on a daily basis? Well, one of those is to get input from others. Seek counsel, seek guidance, have a mentor. Uh, have a mentor that's willing to be honest with you and critique uh, in a positive way, encourage you in the positive things that you do, but also be honest enough to identify the weak areas and be able to express those to you and give you solutions for moving forward. Two, be willing to change yourself. So the fact that you're having the conversations with a mentor is a good piece, but be willing to change. Are you really willing and focused on, on changing? Are you focused on improving, getting better every day, working your way to the top of the podium as a champion? Number three, accept small steps of improvements as wins. Celebrate those. Uh, focus on the end goal, surely. What is it that you want? You want to hit my sales quota. I want to hit my sales number, the goal for the year. I want to, as an athlete or a student, I I want to hit a certain, I want to be a state champion, or I want a certain grade level. I, I want to be an All American, whatever it might be. Uh, I want to be a great dad. I want to be a great son. I want to be a, a wonderful community member. Whatever those those accomplishments are, uh, they're important, and because they're important to you, focus on the end goal, what that looks like. Remind yourself of that often, but celebrate the baby steps along the way. Identify the little steps that you can take today that will get you a little bit closer to your end goal. And if you focus on that, you're focusing on continual improvement. You're implementing, in, in at least a small way, the concept of Kaizen. You do so, and I'll meet you at the top. That's the Kaizen philosophy. And I would love to be standing there in the winning, in the winner's circle with you at the end. And uh, thanks for what you do. Thanks for listening. Bye.